In this video, we are going to learn how to use the XML editor to alter the size of an arrowhead or tip marker in Inkscape while keeping the stroke width the same. This is a request that comes from my previous video on how to draw a curved arrow in Inkscape. There we noted that the arrowhead marker size will follow from the stroke width we set and that there is no graphical user interface or GUI to alter it. I had promised that if you wanted to know how to use the XML editor to change the arrow or marker size, I was going to do a tutorial. And I got two requests from Robert and Nadarajan. I want to thank you both for the request. So here we are going to see how to alter the marker size using the XML editor. Go ahead and open up Inkscape. I am going to go up here to Object, Fill and Stroke or use the keyboard shortcut Shift Ctrl F to have the Fill and Stroke palette here open. We are going to need this later on. I am going to select the Bezier pen, click on the Add bot to create a first node and hold the control key down and pull to the right to create a straight line. I will go up to the fill and stroke menu, select the stroke style and give it a width of about 1.5 millimeters so that you see it well. Next, I will go down here to the markers and select an end marker from this drop down. To learn about selecting markers, see my previous video. I have a link in the description section below for you. Our task in this video is to change the size of this arrowhead independent of the stroke width. I am going to use the XML editor to adjust the scaling or size of the arrowhead and leaving the stroke width unchanged in the process. First, let us pull a guideline from the ruler to mark where the head of the arrow is presently at. This way, we can notice if there is any change in the position later on. Next, begin by selecting the object. Open the XML editor by going to Edit, XML Editor, or by using the keyboard shortcut Shift Ctrl X. This window will come up. Search for the words SVG colon devs ID. Click on it and namely click on this plus sign to expand the devs ID and locate the marker ID beneath it. Click on this plus sign to also expand the marker ID and you are going to see a path ID beneath it. Select the path ID and you are going to see several other optional attributes on this window on the right. Here, click on the transform attribute. In this window below, you will see other possibilities like scale, rotate and translate. We want to scale the marker. To do that, type in a new scale value into the window and this will be used to adjust the size of the arrowhead once you commit the change. For demonstration, I am going to change the scale to 2.8. You can choose any number. Press Ctrl and Enter when done editing and this is going to commit the change. Congratulations, you have now changed your arrowhead size. But also notice that if you choose the note tool and click on the arrow and hold the control key down and try to edit the path, the arrowhead stays the same. Isn't that great? Now when we look at the guideline, one other thing we must also notice is that the arrowhead moved while we changed the scale. You may wish to move it back and forth to a relative position. To do this, we can also use the XML editor to position the arrowhead. To do that, I am going to click on the marker ID and select the refx attribute in this next window. We now see that the value of refx here below is currently 0.0. .0. You can change the refx value to move the arrow slightly to one side. When done, as shown in the instruction, hit Ctrl Enter to commit the change. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and leave your comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in another video.